Hey everyone, we just closed escrow on 30 units in Westminster, located at 13812 La Pat Place. This property closed at $10,025,000, which is the only two comps that have closed between 10 to 50 million in Orange County this year. So we're really excited to get this property through the finish line for our buyer and seller. We have been working on this assignment for some time. We conducted over 30 property tours since we listed this property, had multiple offers, and ended up putting the deal together and closing escrow here just last week. So let's talk through some of the metrics. This is, again, one of only a couple closings, 10 plus million here in Orange County. So diving in, of the 30 units, we had a mix of ones and two bedroom units. What really drew the buyer to this property, it was fully renovated. All 30 units, over a million bucks in CapEx was spent renovating the property. And the buyer could go in and get a five cap going in day one with upside trending to a six cap. So that was really appealing. This breaks down at 334,000 a unit, 468 bucks a foot and 12.4 times gross on current income. So this was a buyer that came through our investor network. They had not owned apartment buildings before, trusted our team to facilitate a transaction, source the property, arrange financing, arrange property management, walking through the due diligence process and going to a successful close of escrow. That was really our job and we executed for them. So we're very happy that we got them into some apartments and I think they'll be very happy that they're owning here in Orange County. We're seeing a flock of capital coming from LA, other product types just like this buyer did coming into good Orange County real estate. So let's talk through of the million bucks that was spent, it was exactly 1.4 million of CapEx that went into interior and exterior renovations. This was new iron all throughout the exterior, security gates, new exterior paint, stucco repairs, all new landscaping and hardscape, new exterior lighting, all new monument signs, rebranding the asset with plaques, uh, with unit plaques, all new windows, all new screen doors, all private new enclosures that they built on the first floor units, all new decks then deck repair, new courtyard, all the concrete that was poured in, new picnic tables, barbecues, the pergolas are all brand new. So the buyer's not gonna have a CapEx budget to spend to upgrade the property. It's gonna be standard repairs and maintenance. More items that were done, new garage doors, new mailboxes, new copper supply lines. The roofs were put on in 2019. Now on the interior, approximately $30,000 plus was spent on each interior renovation. And one of the things the buyer liked about the property, and we noticed as well, as this owner went through and renovated every unit consistently on the same spec level. So if you go into one unit, you've seen them all. This included new paint, new vinyl plank floors, new kitchens, new electrical sub panels, new interior doors, trim. They scraped all the popcorn ceilings. They added washer and dryer hookups. They added an AC unit, all new lights, can lights, um, all the fit and finishes on the handles, the hardware, the mirror doors, all shaker cabinets, quartz countertops. They went, even went through and did a nice towel backsplash as well. So in a stainless steel appliance package. So they spent a lot of money on the property. It showed the buyer really wanted to make sure that he had a durable in place cash flow that he could depend on, not having to dump a bunch of money into a building. So that's one of the reasons why they selected the Lapat apartments. And then shout out to our sellers. This is our second closing with them and we look forward to many more. I think one of the biggest things with putting this transaction together is we had to rely heavily on the folks that we brought into the transaction. We had to rely on our management company to go through and facilitate what they needed to do to get the transaction done. We had to rely on the lender. Shout out to Chase Bank and Ed Kim over at Bercadia for arranging the financing. We have to rely certainly on all of our vendors to go through that did all the inspections to make sure that the buyer is uh, I inspecting what he expects, right? And a shout out to the team, making sure that they arranged this transaction and facilitated the exchange to get all the timing done, standardized, get the timing done, the 45 days, identify the property before 45 days is up and closing well before the 180th day. Those are all things that we did to make this a successful closing for the seller, for the buyer, and now to market comp. So if you own in and around this property, if you own in North Orange County and you wanna know more highlights about this sale, let us know and we can send you the details. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.